In this short video, we will discuss depreciation using the reducing balance method through an example transaction. We will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the reducing balance method, the calculation of the depreciation, as well as the recording of the transaction. The advantages of using the reducing balance method or that it is easy to calculate and matches the cost with the revenue by providing higher depreciation on new assets and the cost is reduced as the efficiency of the asset declines. The disadvantages are that the business cannot reduce the book value of assets to zero and it requires a high rate of depreciation Otherwise, it takes a very long time to write down to its residual value. For the purpose of this video, we will use the following transaction. On 1 January 2020, Moose Traders purchased a delivery vehicle for 100,000 Rand. The financial year end of Moose Traders is 31 December. Moose traders are not registered as a VAT vendor. Vehicles are depreciated at 10% per annum using the reducing balance method. In order to calculate the depreciation on the vehicle, you will need to use the following. The cost price, accumulated depreciation, depreciation rate and the period. In our example, the cost price is given as 100,000 Rand. Since the vehicle was purchased on 1 January 2020 and we are calculating the depreciation for the first year, the accumulated depreciation on this vehicle is still 0 Rand. The depreciation rate is given as 10% and the period is 1 January 2020 to 31 December 2020, thus 12 months. Calculating the depreciation on the vehicle using the reducing balance method means that you use the cost price less the accumulated depreciation times the depreciation rate and then times the number of months in the period divided by 12. Therefore, it is 100,000 Rand cost price less 0 Rand accumulated depreciation times 10% times 12 months divided by 12 months, totaling 10,000 Rand depreciation to be recorded in the first year. The first step when dealing with a transaction is to identify the affected accounts. In our example, the business calculated and now needs to record the depreciation for the year on vehicles. The first affected account is depreciation. The depreciation account will increase with the amount calculated for depreciation. Depreciation is an expense account and will thus decrease equity. Therefore, the depreciation account will be debited. The other affected account will be accumulated depreciation. The transaction will increase accumulated depreciation. The contra account accumulated depreciation is credited and will decrease the value of the asset in the statement of financial position. Remember the mantra that for every debit there must be a corresponding credit. Depreciation is recorded in the general journal. In our example the depreciation will be recorded on the last day of the financial year namely 31 December 2020. The date will appear in the first column. In the details column, we first write the account to be debited, which is the appreciation in our example with the amount 10,000 Rand in the debit column. In the next row, we write the name of the account to be credited, which is the accumulated depreciation account for vehicles. The amount of 10,000 Rand is then recorded in the credit column of the same row. Once this is done, a short narration explaining what the transaction was is written in the next row. When posting the transaction to the general ledger, 
the depreciation account will be debited with 10,000 Rand and the accumulated depreciation for vehicles account will be credited with 10,000 Rand. In order to calculate the depreciation on the vehicle for the second year, you will need to use the following. The cost price, accumulated depreciation, depreciation rate and the period. In our example, the cost price is given as 100,000 Rand. Since the vehicle was purchased on 1 January 2020 and we are calculating the depreciation for the second year, the accumulated depreciation on this vehicle will now be 10,000 Rand. The depreciation rate is given as 10% and the period is 1 January 2021 to 31 December 2021, thus 12 months. Calculating the depreciation on the vehicle using the reducing balance method means that you take the cost price less the accumulated depreciation times the depreciation rate and then times the number of months in the period divided by 12. Therefore, it is 100,000 Rand cost price less 10,000 Rand accumulated depreciation times 10% times 12 months, divided by 12 months, totaling 9,000 Rand depreciation to be recorded in the second year. During the second year, the accumulated depreciation account will have an opening balance of 10,000 Rand. When posting the transaction for the second year to the general ledger, the depreciation account will be debited with 9,000 Rand, and the accumulated depreciation for vehicles account will be credited with 9,000 Rand. The closing balance of the accumulated depreciation after the second year will amount to 19,000 Rand. In the third year, the depreciation will be calculated as 100,000 Rand cost price less 19,000 Rand accumulated depreciation times 10% times 12 months, divided by 12 months, totaling 8,100 depreciation to be recorded. Through this, you can see that the amount of depreciation recorded on an annual basis using the reducing balance method will differ from year to year as the amount of accumulated depreciation increases. If you think back to the advantages of using the reducing balance method, we said that as the new assets efficiency declines, the cost allocated to revenue will also decline, which then leads to a matching of revenue with cost. In this short video, we discussed depreciation using the reducing balance method through an example transaction. We discussed the advantages and disadvantages of the reducing balance method, the calculation of the depreciation, as well as the recording of the transaction.